Leo, hey, welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie. Welcome in. If you are brand new to the channel, I hope you enjoy your message. If you do, please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment down below. I would love to know how you're doing. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your love and support. You make what I do possible. Thank you for being here. I love you with all my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Leo, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. Please remember that this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with your situation. If it doesn't, do not force the details to fit, okay? Then it's just not your message. But for those of you who do resonate with this, I hope this, this reading provides you the clarity and guidance that you seek moving forward. We will be doing an extended reading after this reading. I will leave the link to the extended reading in the description box down below, as well as pinned to the top of the comment section down below, along with a link to my personal booking system, my booking website, in case you would like to book a reading with me um, to get something a little bit more tailored to your specific situation. Okay, Leo? This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Cusp, anywhere you have Leo placements in your chart, it might resonate, okay? That's how that's how I do my readings. Anywhere you might have the sign, even if you're a cusp, okay? This is for you, all right? So, Leo, I went ahead and pulled Oracle cards ahead of time. We're going to pull from the tarot together. But your oracle cards, it's definitely a complicated situation that you're in, okay? For the majority of you, this is love. This is love. This is about whether 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 you should stay or whether you should go. Now, here's the thing. We have a main male, okay? Because a lot of a lot of a lot of the energies recently have been about people leaving a situation that was once very stable behind, okay? But for you guys, there's a little bit more to this because someone stole something. Someone took what was not theirs. Someone, for some of you, this is a literal thief. For others of you, this is the this is somebody who took your time, took your energy, took your space. All right, we've got someone here, expectations with house and poverty. Okay, so for some of you, this is about living with somebody who does not pay the bills. Someone who is constantly leaving you waiting believing that they're going to offer something substantial to the commitment and they have not okay there's there's an expectation here that there's going to be stability right with expectation and house there's an expectation for growth there's an expectation for longevity there's an expectation that someone's going to be able to uh be around to see you know not not to be around to see but to be around to build something substantial okay you don't just build a house in one day you get what i'm saying this goes beyond your 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 emotional needs this is more about this person not stepping up in the way that they've promised they're coming up short this individual this person is coming up short now for some of you you're dealing with a feminine energy who is making it seem like you guys have something sincere and authentic but in truth they're with you to gain something they're with you to gain something this could be an actual woman it could be a feminine energy but there is someone here who is coming through as just you know oh well, i love you and then meanwhile behind your back they're actually looking for opportunities where they can get a leg up they want to take something from you it could again it could be time it could be energy money um, we have a main male here a masculine energy who is actually looking to embark on a new journey this person could have been just now moving into a new place this person to me it feels like this masculine energy is honestly thinking about leaving now whether you you identify as a male or a female here the fact that you're coming through as the masculine tells me that this is not something that you are thinking about anymore. This is something that you are actively doing. As in the person you're connecting with, Leo, is, is kind of on their last leg. Like you're giving them one more chance and then that's it, right? Someone here, it, you know, it feels like this person thinks they've got the upper hand when really you've been strategic about this all along. Like this person really doesn't know who they're messing with. That's the thing. Like they think that they've tricked you into a situation when in reality you've seen exactly what they've been doing. You've just been kind of seeing how far they would take it. And they're really showing their ass here. They're really showing their ass. They're 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 getting sloppy. They're showing that they, you know, it it was they were able to very discreetly show that they they, you know, that they wanted something outside of what you were willing to give, right? And they thought 
they thought they were being sneaky like they might have thought that they were like the snake in the grass where they were very clever and and they weren't letting you know that here and there they were taking money out of your wallet or here and there they were actually able to help you with something but they were just choosing not to right they can get a job but they don't want to because you have all the stability coming in all the abundance coming in and while you're clocking in long hours at work and they're saying that they're looking for a job you're noticing that they're not looking for a job at all in fact they're actually spending the money you're making to go and hang out with other people right there's a discrepancy here and it's been under your nose but you've seen it all along leo you're no fool and this person here whether it's it's the male or female there's a masculine energy who is already packing their bags and leaving if that's not the case the person you're connecting with you are getting yourself situated for them to pack up their stuff and leave you get what i'm saying like there's no toler there's no tolerance here anymore leo for this person and from from what i remember your reading last month actually talked about catching a liar in the act right catching like finally catching somebody who said they were who meant one thing and were was they were doing another thing I feel like this is kind of piggybacking off of that energy. Now that you've seen that this person is not being honest with you, right? I feel like up to this point, some of you have tolerated it, or maybe you found out the truth, but didn't vocalize to the person that you found the truth. And so you kind of put a pin in it, you left it, you watched them, and you're seeing that it's not, it's not only getting any better, but this person is convinced that you haven't seen anything. And the more you play dumb, the more this person shows their hand, the more you realize that they're not who they say they are, the more you see that they're really in it with you just so that way they can come out on top in some way, right? So we've got over here also an oracle card saying celebrate differences, all right? Ironically enough, with the opposition card. So for me, this reads as very much like you and this person are not compatible and that's just that, that's just the point of the matter, right? You guys aren't going to see eye to eye and it really doesn't matter whether or not you see eye to eye. You are at a point now, Leo, where it's like, listen, you gave it a shot. You you gave them an opportunity to uh, to clean up their act is what it feels like. You gave them an opportunity to clear their name and they, they crapped all over it. They really didn't care. They thought maybe you were bluffing. If you told, if you did tell them, if you did tell them that you were onto them about something they thought that you were totally full of it and said well you know what it's not like you found anything and you leo you're just like listen i don't even need to find anything the truth is just the way you treat me the way you talk down to me the fact that let's just say hypothetically you are looking for jobs the fact that it's taking you this long to find a job is letting me know that you're just not trying hard enough an hour a day looking for a job is not enough when there are people who are out there walking on the streets with their resumes going into storefronts handing out their applications getting interviews on the spot you can try harder and you're choosing not to this does not apply for those of you who really are taking the time who maybe are unemployed and you're taking the time to actually go out and do that if that's the case that's an example here of where this storyline does not resonate with you okay so take what resonates all right so We've got you are worth it as well as um, partnered up with work on what has been spoiled. Okay, correcting past mistakes, making repairs. You've given a lot to this person and you've kind of had to, you've gone, you've gone down a couple rungs on the ladder, Leo, in order to accommodate this person is what happened. You gave of your resource to this individual to kind of to help support them through a tough time or maybe just what, maybe it wasn't an actual tough time and because they've been lying, you know, you just didn't know that you were, what you were helping them with wasn't necessary. They had everything that they needed, but out of sympathy, you gave to them because you believed them. From the goodness of your heart, you really did believe that they were struggling the way they said that they were, right? So what happened was you gave more than you could, more than you should have maybe. And because of that, you have actually, you know, delayed your own goals or you've delayed you're, you know, you've, you've dipped into your savings, something like that, but it's like very on the surface. But again, Leo, we know your personality, right? You take a lot of pride in the hard work you put into something and to see your efforts fall through in some way hurts you, right? And that could be said for a lot of individuals, but for you, especially Leo, it's like your trademark. You really, you make what you do a part of your personality and what you do and who you are, how you identify, how you feel, right? So this person you invested in, and it's fallen through and you're realizing that it wasn't the right thing to do in the long term it's actually detracted from the goals and the kind of life you thought you would have by this point 
okay but that's okay i'm seeing you come into a space where you recognize this and you're really okay with how this has panned out because the truth is now that you know what's actually going on you're not bothered you're not bothered anymore you just you're like you know what it is what it is i i really i really don't care for some of you where this is not you for some of you where you are the individual the you are the uh the offending individual here lying cheating stealing um you know just white lies right the person keeping secrets the person keeping secrets and not really living up to what it is you're communicating to your partner you are living up to uh then then it's the other way around okay could be the other way around okay just know that the the, the person with whom you are connecting they have found they they've been watching they know they know the truth they're just they're letting you dig the hole they're, they want to see how deep the hole gets before you 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 wisen up and realize that the only person you're fooling here is yourself okay and again that's what i'm seeing leo that's what i'm seeing so if you're cross watching and this is you know this is the situation this is what i'm seeing this is how the person feels you're you're trying to outsmart someone who's been three steps ahead the whole time all right so you know you make your bed you make your bed you you lay you lay in it so let's see what's going on going on with leo please one more let's cut it overarching energy here full yeah we're coming to the end this is uh, you know someone is now this could be someone feeling foolish possibly but this is definitely a brand new beginning this is definitely someone just they're letting it all go this is going to feel risky right could be connecting with an aries as well someone's gonna try yeah see someone's gonna try to apologize leo but their offer is tiny their offer is just it could be an apology right the issue here is the fact that y'all are married with the hierophant the this is the obstacle the obstacle here is the fact that you guys are in a, a long-standing commitment you could be uh living together Okay, could be connected with a Taurus as well. You know, you might give things the benefit of the doubt because you guys have so many shared resources, but the truth is someone's going to come in with an apology, but you know, Leo, that the, that it, you're going to need more than what they're offering you to even consider staying in this situation, right? You're thinking about a Sagittarius, possibly. You have an Aquarius here in your heart, maybe. Again, but we've got energy here where it's like you're, if you're feeling distanced from somebody, they're not who you thought that they were. And while there might be an opportunity to reconcile, this has less to do with a desire to be with this person and more of a desire to get over the situation. I'm not seeing like this feels like a permanent, like a permanent crack in the foundation. Like wh whatever this situation was, if you guys did try to maintain this in the long term, it's it's always going to come back it's going to come back around and it's always going to be the focal point for some reason things are not working out because this was like a permanent breach in trust leo and i think you know this whether you decide to move forward in disconnecting from this or not it's like eesh, coming in you've got the ten of swords okay so you you're done thinking about it the ten of swords talks about the end of a very 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 painful cycle swords are thoughts all right, so you've been thinking, you've been suffering, you've been mentally tormented over the situation, but you're releasing your thoughts about it. You know the truth. You're free. You're free. You see yourself as the eight of wands. You could be literally moving out, communicating to this person, letting them know that you're done. In the environment, we've got uh, the devil, Capricorn energy. This could be exactly what this, like you've revealed this connection to be toxic. This is toxic. This has been, um, <clears throat> someone may, you know, someone's been convincing you that this is, something besides what it is you're going to be exhausted from this your fear here is that you're going to have a change of heart your fear here is that you're that you're going to have a change of heart and you're going to want to hold on to this but you're you're ready to go you're ready to go leo yeah you're ready to go you the thing is you and this person have a lot of love for some of you you actually left this person for another person like you left the the previous person for the person that you're with 
we've got a lot of water energy here cancer pisces scorpio very strong cancer okay so uh we will we have mo most of all we have cancer capricorn sagittarius taurus and aquarius those are our main energies through major arcana followed by cancer pisces scorpio very very strongly very very strongly okay and then with the overarching energy of the fool we've got very strong aries here as well so you could be connecting with any one of those signs but the thing is is you know you are done with the situation in the recent past there was a smoke screen in the recent past you you were convinced that the things you were seeing may not have been the truth this person was very good at kind of just at distracting your attention taking your attention away from the things that you were that you were believing as truth which were it was truth uh, they didn't want you to realize that you were right okay they didn't want you to realize that you were right now i want to see i want to clarify your outcome first because this nine of this nine of wands is very curious to me your your outcome here is the nine of wands okay so you're going to be very exhausted by the time you're done with this exhausted of with fighting right the the eight is where you see yourself right that this is where you presently see yourself is the eight of wands and the outcome here is the nine of wands which follows so i wonder if after you move or after you have this discussion with the person okay you're just going to be tired of talking you're going to be tired of, of wasting your breath right you're going to be tired of wasting your breath for some of you though again with the fear being the four of pentacles i think you may be afraid that as a result of all this arguing you may lose resolve like you're going to be you're going to you're going to you're going to rip them a new one you're going to talk to them you're going to let them know what you've been thinking all this time but then by the end of it you're going to be so tired of talking that you're going to be like you know what it does it can't get much worse than this i'll just stay you know what i mean like it, it could be like that so let me see what is this nine of wands please what is this nine of wands please sorry for the, the chattering the chatting outside um what is this nine of wands please What is this nine of wands? One more card, please. Okay. Seven of cups again. Will you look at that? Page of cups. Five of cups. You're done. You're done, Leo. Because this person is going to, your current energy right now, your your present energy is this page of cups. Someone coming in with an apology, someone, you know, really just forcing their feelings on you is what it feels. Because you guys are in a commitment, they're going to say to you things like, well, we've been together for all this time. Is this really enough reason to, to leave the situation? It's like, let me ask you something. So the fact that we've been together for five, ten years... It's supposed to matter to me it's supposed to keep me here but it's not supposed to teach you to respect me by now it's not supposed to teach me it's not supposed to teach you to be respectful with me right now you get what i'm saying like it, it, it's like don't allow this person to apologize and, and spit this logic to you like as if it's supposed to matter more to you that you guys have been together and that this commitment is supposed to be this big thing that you're supposed to respect but meanwhile they're disrespecting it every other day Right? How does that make sense, Leo? How does that make sense, really? Because you've been respecting, you've been the only one here respecting the situation, and it seems to me like this person has really been going out of their way to use you. Okay? Because what's happening with the Nine of Wands is the Five of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Someone is going to try to distract you from what the point of all of this is. That's what this is. You get so tired. It's almost like an interrogation is what it feels like. It's like someone constantly beating you with the same questions over and over and over again until eventually you just give them the answer they want to hear. Which unfortunately is a form of submission because then you physically stay in place. Right? Someone's jerking your chain here if you're not careful. If something is over, Leo, you need to tell them it's over. You need to let them know that it's over. Don't let them assume this person doesn't take hints very well. I can tell. They don't need hints, they need words, they need actions. You need to pack their bag for them. All right, Leo, because I feel like for some, again, because we've got journey, we've got change, we've got certain, oh, let me show you those cards again. Someone's waiting in front of the train. 
someone's right waiting in front of the in front of the train someone's got a chariot there with their bag their sofa their cat packed all right someone here is ready to get the hell out of here this person is leaving goodbye because their intention was never to give to this their intention was never to give to this okay let me see what this ten of swords is that's coming into your near future sorry let me pick that up Eight of Cups and Death. With a Ten of Swords. Could be connecting with a Scorpio as well, but... This is an end, right? This is an end. This is emotionally disconnecting from a situation. Mentally saying, you know what, enough is enough. And actually saying, you know what, this is over. There's nothing here to be attained. Now, you are wanting to possibly stay, right? Because you thought you could have the Ten of Cups. That was, you may have felt this with this person at first, right? You may have felt that with this person. But the truth is, what you ultimately, what you ultimately want is fulfillment. Ultimately, what you want is fulfillment. But this person, they promised you fulfillment and couldn't deliver. And they know that. They know that they don't intend to. They know that they can't. Um, but they're hoping you won't call them out on their bluff. But you know better, Leo. You know better. Joke is on them. Yeah, three three of cups. There might have been a three-party situation here. But overall, there's no reunion. This is clarifying the ten of swords. So there's no reunion here. Oh my god. Let me pick those up. Give me a second. Oh, ah, sorry, Leo. Um, so we've got the sun, wheel of fortune, and page of swords. So it's like you're not even going to let this person know that you're planning on changing things up. All you know is that you're ready to, to start over. You're ready to just get things going. You're ready. Like, I don't, I'm not seeing you confronting this person verbally while you might be. I'm seeing there being more action than words. This, this message, this communication, I feel like you are just going to go ahead and do what it is you're feeling. And you're really not going to, like, words at this point have really exhausted you. Conversation at this point has really exhausted you. You're not here to have a conversation. You're not here to have a dialogue. You're not here to compromise. Like, you're, you're so done. I feel like, truly, you have already found exactly what you needed to find about this person to, to really convince yourself that what you've been seeing, what you've been sensing has been real all along. There's there's nothing here there's nothing here that, that you want to do right there's nothing here that you wanna there's nothing here that you really that, that can be worked out all right uh, let's see let's see let me see so in your in your environment we've got this devil energy let's see what this devil energy is all right this Capricorn possibly this toxicity though. What is this Capricorn? This devil energy, please. What is this devil energy here, please? The fool again. You're jumping out of this free willy style. You are literally just oh just out <laughs> out of the situation. Completely out. Leo, I'm so sorry. That just made me laugh. I'm so sorry. Like, but seriously, Leo, you are so you're so out of here. Like, it's not even. It's kind of it's kind of funny just the image, but it's not funny. Like, you guys are so done, Leo. You're so done. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised if you laughed on the way out the door. Like, you are so like if this person comes back at you, but Leo, listen, I love you, but don't you see? You'll be like, bro, look. Like, I'm so, keep talking because I can't wait to show you the text messages I found. Or keep talking because I can't wait till I tell you what your friend just told me about where you were last weekend. Like, you're, like you're so ready to throw it down, throw that truth down on them, that when they come through, you're going to be like, let me, gra let me grab my tea. Let me hang out while you try to stumble over your words, letting me know what you really were doing or what you really meant. Right? You're so done, Leo. It's not even funny. You're jumping out of this situation. Brand new. For some of you, this is a, a real toxic relationship that you have with an Aries as well. Real toxic energy you have with an Aries. 
chained, just completely trapped with this individual. But I see you, I see you really, it's, it's almost like you're just, you're going to kind of go in the night, right? You're going to, you're going to speak your piece, maybe, but overall, you're just going to go ahead and do what you need to do to, to bring, to bring the situation to a, a, a conclusion that suits your needs. Because you're done. You, you realize that what you guys have different cannot be reconciled. Okay. So Leo, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading. If you feel like this was your story and would like to see a little bit more, we're going to go ahead and talk about the person you're connecting with. Okay. How they feel towards you. What it is, uh, what it is that they want for you or from you, right? What do they, what do they want in this situation with you? What the advice will be moving forward and the long-term, long-term, uh, trajectory, right? What the long-term outcome would be between you and this person. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Leo, if this resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. You can join me in the extended. Um, if you would like a personal reading, my link is down below, but until next time, I'm sending you all my love. Please take care. Okay. Mwah. Kisses. Bye Leo.